In this video, we will show how to assemble the three layers planetary reduction mechanism. These are the parts that you will find in the kit together with the written instructions. Step number one. Take part number eight and screw the two small screws in the holes. Step number two, take part number nine and mount it on the bottom side of the screws. Step number three, take the disc with the hole, part number two, and place the handle with the disc in the hole, like this. Step number four, take part number six. In the, in the kit you will find another two parts that are very similar to part number six, but they have slightly larger holes. You will see that if you try to fit them on the screws, they don't fit. You want to use part number six, the one with the smaller holes. Put it on the screws of the handle and screw them in so it will fit. It shouldn't be too tight but you don't want it to wobble. Step number five, take the three screws and screw them in the holes of the disc. Screw them from the side of the gear and not from the side of the handle. Step number six, take part number three and mount it on the screws. Step number seven, take the five gears, five of the gears, part number 10, and place each gear in its space. Now, on the outer ring, you will see four uh, triangles and one circle on the uh, screw. They mark the places where you want to put the gears. On the in inner gear you will find five arrows as well. You want to put them, you want to align them with the arrows in the outer uh, gear and then put the planet uh, gears exactly between the arrow in the inner gear and in the outer gear. All five of them. At this stage, if you turn the handle, the gears should be able to rotate freely. If you do so, make sure that you leave the gears 
aligned, the arrows aligned for the next stage. Step number eight. Take part number four and slide it on the screws. Step number nine. Take part number seven and two wooden dowels. Put the dowels in the holes. Step number 10. Take part number 5. Place part number 7 on part number 5 in a way that the small arrows will point to the holes. And press the dowels to the hole. So the arrows point to the holes. Step number 11. Take the part that you just made and place it on the planetary gears that you made before. The holes should go on the axles and you want the two uh, dowels to be aligned with the two screws of the layer under it, this way. Step 12. Repeat steps 6 to 11 and put another layer exactly the same way. First, you want to put another part number 3. You can see that one of the holes has a circle around it. You want the circle to be above the circle of the layer under it. Now you want to put the gears and they should be aligned with the small arrows or five gears. At this stage you can turn the handle and see the gears move, moving. Take them back to their original position. Now we're doing again step 8, we put the ring over it, and step 9, we will make the sun gear, and put it that the arrows will point to the holes, and put it in a way that the dowels will be aligned with the dowels under it and the holes will go to the axles of the gears. That's it. Now we'll do step number six again. We want to put the outer gear that the hole with the circle will be over the hole with the circle of the layer under it. Step number 13, take the remaining five gears, the ones with the holes, and put them exactly the same way over the gears, the other gears, that they all will be aligned with the, arrow, with the arrows. Finally, step number 14, before we put the cover on the all mechanism, you would like to lower the screws so they will be almost flat with the surface. They should stick out a little. Now, step number 15, put the cover on and pull 
the screws out. And with the holes. The whole thing shouldn't be too tight, but you don't want it to be loose. You may need to adjust it a little, just screw the screws in and out until you think it's smooth enough and but not uh, loosey. Perfect.